Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I have a solution for when you are using anchor links, but you also have a sticky header. So what I mean by that, if you have a header built, like in the theme builder, and you scroll down and you have it fixed to the top here, right? And you also have a link somewhere, for example, this one here. And when I click on that, it's going to go to a certain location on the page. The problem is the location that it scrolls to does not take into consideration the height of this header at the top. It thinks that it's not there. It's measuring from the top of the website. And so depending on what you're linking to, if you're linking to specific content, it's actually going to cut it off. So let's just say, for example, um, let me pick an example. Let's say I was linking to this uh, t you know, testimonial right here, right? And if I linked to it and had the ID of the anchor link there, it would actually scroll to like right there. See that? It would be cut off because it, the top of it thinks it's up there. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is show you how to add an offset. So instead of it being like that, it will be like that. And so we're going to show you with code and also in Divi Assistant. So go ahead and come over to our tutorial. It's on our blog. I'll have that linked in the description. The first method here is showing you how to do it with jQuery. And there's this code here that you will put into your website. Here is instructions about where to put that. And the second method, I'm showing you how to do it already in Divi Assistant with basically just turning on a setting, okay? So again, back here, I have a theme builder template set and inside that theme builder template, the header is set to fixed. So what I mean is when you go to the advanced tab of this section and under scroll effects, it is set to stick to top, right? That's why when we're viewing it, it's sticky. And that's what's causing the issue, right? So now I'm just going to go to Divi Assistant. So click on the menu item for that. And this is in the front end helper so right here and it's going to be in this miscellaneous sub tab here. And I actually already have it enabled. Um, what you would see is that disabled like that when you first come. And I already had 600 in here. I'm going to put it at like um, 120 pixels or something. You know, you pick whatever you want it to be. And now when I view this, I'll refresh here actually. Um, and then I'll find a link. So this is a test link here. Um, it's look how nice this looks. See that blue? If I disable this, I'll show you. So now I'll click on this again and notice how it's like cut off at the top. See that? Well, I'll do it again. Okay. So notice how much blue is here, right? I'm just going to click this button again. Okay. See that? Now watch. I put it back to like, I think, man, 120, sorry, 120 seemed to be perfect, actually. We'll see. Now I'm going to just, just read through it again. So click here. Notice how it's perfect now. Okay. So <laughs> what a great solution, right? Um, the other way you can do it is with code. Now I have the full snippet here. Now this is certainly more advanced, obviously, but you're going to take this code. You can copy it like this and you will actually put that in um, Divi in theme options under integration. So you could put it right here. And there's so, one spot here you can edit like the value right here. It's um, 200 and you can edit that value. Um, and there again, you can adjust it just like I was doing in Divi Assistant. So again, this is just a really helpful solution when you have a sticky header and you want it to scroll to the correct location. Um, it's actually a pretty advanced solution. And there were some times in testing where it was hard to get it to work right. So if you encounter an issue, um, especially when you're using our plugin, just let us know and we'll debug that. But it's overall such a great solution for a problem that doesn't really have any other solution for it. And otherwise you kind of have to add extra spacing or use a, put the anchor link in a section above, which isn't accurate then. So hopefully you enjoy this. And if you do, definitely give me a thumbs up. Um, this was 
something that took a lot of time and effort to actually create. It's not just something simple. Not as it's not a simple little CSS snippet for styling. It's actually code that's very functional. And so we appreciate helping the algorithm out with thumbs up and comments. And yeah, that actually helps us out a lot. Makes it more worthwhile for us to do this. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.